Um, this is a message from my generation. Or actually, realistically, it's just a message from me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's deluded enough to believe that he can speak for an entire generation, but I hear so many negative things about my generation, the millennial generation, the me, me generation, that I hope this piece, poem, changes some people's perceptions. They say I don't get involved in politics, but I engage in politics on Facebook. I don't watch the news because I get my daily news reports via Twitter. My religion, I guess it's best called faith because the only promised land I ever knew starting with a H wasn't called heaven. It was called Hollywood. The first and only royalty I ever acknowledged was the Fresh Prince and Queen Bee. The only place voting has ever made sense to me is an American Idol, The Voice and The X Factor. We hashtag everything X collaborations, use abbreviations and disregard punctuation. But so what? Because we migrated from the mindset of we have to to we want to. So rather than know a lot about a little, we decided it was better to know a little about a lot. I guess that's how we create businesses online without having to leave our house. And yeah, we have apps to order pizza. We keep complaining about this world, but who's going to change it? I mean, you keep criticizing my generation, forgetting who raised it. You either accept us or you reject us, but there's no way you're ever going to deliver that message the way you address us. Because you keep telling us to look up from our screens just so we can see you looking down on us, it seems. I mean, you expected us to cry when Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall and were surprised when we didn't. Because they're no longer waiting for all of the king's horses and all of the king's men to put him back together again. Instead, we made scrambled egg whites out of Humpty Dumpty that evening. Because apparently, we're the lost generation. So can you blame us for finding something to do, whether it's twerking on Snapchat or creating Kermit memes? That's none of your business. Because the world is no longer yours. We took away the wise and created our own path, so now it's ours. I said the world is no longer yours. We became the generation Y before you could ask it, so now it's ours. So whether it's cupcake machines, cano computers or driverless cars, we don't believe in war unless it's on World of Warcraft. We don't have time to care about your race or sexuality. If they don't make sense, we question the rules. Because we believe that rulers are meant to be broken. And maybe we're still keeping up with the Kardashians because it's better than that other reality TV show that you call the news. Can you blame us for actually wanting to learn something that we can apply in real life in schools? Things like not to step into a red circle wearing red shoes. <laughs> I mean, I grew up watching the magic school bus. How do you expect me to believe I can never learn anything inside the classroom? I said I grew up watching the magic school bus. I learned there's only so much that you can learn inside the classroom. We are taking over. And here are our demands. Not that you finish everything on your plate, or brush before you sleep. No, it's simply that you listen. Because it's a new day. And even though we grew up in different generations, we're facing the same disguise of different situations. So instead of you guys saying, I was once young like you, so I know exactly what you need to do, you need to think about it. Is that the kind of reasoning a younger version of yourself would have responded to? Because if you allowed yourself to take a sip from the fountain of you for a second, you'd see that we're really not that different. What if I replace IBM with Apple, encyclopedia with Wiki, emails with letters, iPads with ledgers, all the wise men you ever knew growing up with Google? Maybe if I replaced Obama with Bill Clinton, Messi with Maradona, Rihanna with Madonna, you'd have a better understanding of our way of thinking. Because you see in this world there is yin and yang, yang. There's positive and negative. For every plus, there's a minus. So maybe if you focus more on our multiple successes, we wouldn't be as divided. Is my generation the worst? Yes, probably, if I'm honest. But he without sin cast the first stone. I mean, at least give us an opportunity to grow. Did you know that it takes 1 billion to 3.3 billion years to create diamonds out of stones? So give us time. Because you can't expect the caterpillar to transform into a butterfly overnight. 
Because this is the millennial generation manifesto. And this is our only demand. Listen and learn to trust us before you judge us. Sully Breaks, hashtag Team Millennial. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sully.